Hey, I'm Rolf Potts. It's one day before I head off around the world for six weeks with no luggage at all. Right now I'm in New York City, which is the departure city for the No Baggage Challenge. And I want to talk a little bit about how to pack for a journey when you're not bringing any luggage. That means that everything I bring is going to go into these cargo pants or into this travel vest. An important thing you need is a few backup clothes to keep things fresh. So I'm bringing extra underwear, extra t-shirt, a couple extra socks, and just sort of a handkerchief for uh, all-purpose things. I also need to bring a few toiletries. That includes deodorant to keep myself fresh, as well as all-purpose soap, and of course a collapsible toothbrush. Uh, documentation, passport, and credit cards. Uh, I burn easily, so it's really necessary for me to bring sunscreen and also lip balm. Uh, since I'm a writer, I'm bringing a notebook and a pen. I'm also bringing safety pens just for all-purpose needs. I'm not even sure what I'm going to use them for yet. I'm going to run my trip off my iPod, so that's a necessary item. We also have a Bluetooth keyboard, which I'm going to use to write my blog entries. Toothpaste is sort of an extra. I can borrow it, but I'm going to bring it in this situation because it's a really small tube. I also have a glasses and contact solution. If I have a LASIK sponsor, I could avoid this, but I don't. Also, to keep the sun off, I'm bringing sunglasses and a hat. Those are, could be optional items, but uh, with my hair this short, my head would burn if I didn't bring a hat. Also, I have the flashlight and, and also the camera. And so these are all the items that I need for the trip, hopefully. And as you can see, they pack pretty well. And that's pretty much it. Right now, I'm packed for the journey. And as you can notice, um, I'm not really that much more weighed down than your average bird watcher on a trip to the park. And in fact, uh, the cargo pockets of my pants aren't holding anything at all right now. Uh, and the road could prove me wrong, but uh, I think I pretty much have everything I need for six weeks of travel around the world through 12 countries on five continents. So follow along at rtwblog.com and we'll see how this works out.